Let's take a look at another configuration option in Gecko. So we set up the reverb to be linked to the back and forth position of my hand when it is of my right hand when it is open. Let's now set up the back and forth position of my right hand when it is closed so that it controls the delay on this sound. So I'm going to pick MIDI message 5, go into the layout section, select the delay here, solo this MIDI message 5 so that it's the only message being sent and then learn. And as I move my hand, it is learned by main stage. So now I can unsolo it. And basically, let's, let's configure it in the same way as, uh, as, as Reverb was configured, because it was quite natural. So as I play now... I can independently control Reverb and Delay just by opening or closing my hands. And you can see that each effect indivi independently sticks where it was when I switch between open and closed. So the open version of your data stream and the closed version of your data stream are basically independent and you can switch between them. The open-close linking actually stops them from being independent and they become mutually exclusive. So when I now use a reverb, I can, for example, make it very big. And as soon as I switch to the closed position, it actually jumps back to the rest value. And I'm now using the delay, which I can, for example, turn down completely. And if I switch back to reverb, the delay jumps back to the rest position. And I can control the reverb. So this allows you to have some base, baseline effects set up um, that use a rest value so that your sound always has uh, specific characteristics and that when you jump between the open and close position of your hand you can actually control each individual uh, parameter with the other one being set back to uh, an appropriate default value.